Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Hi Sag, this is your bonus timeless readings. So this would be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Sagittarius. Here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, I mean, this is sort of not much to elaborate on. Some of you are calling it in. Whether it's because you're putting prayers out there, whether it's because you are manifesting this via law of attraction, or whether this is happening and it's not even like a conscious thing, however it's happening, it's happening. It's coming in. It's becoming a magnetic match six of cups past life soulmate this vibration that some of you are in right now and it feels like a new vibration it is attracting in your soul tribe the moon pisces energy in this card it says the angel of dreams there could be a lot of dreams happening here for many of you a lot of weird dreams we did just have that full moon in pisces um It's like dreamy, remembering, deja vu. There's this really heavy sense of that shit right now happening for you guys. You or the other person. Maybe meeting someone and feeling this overwhelming sense of like, I know you. And even though it's the first time I've met you, I feel like I know you. Why? Because, well, it would be someone from a past life. Some of you are having weird dreams. Feeling... Almost foggy headed is the best way I can describe it, is what it feels like. Like a dream state. All right, the, sub the subconscious mind, whether this is because of meditation, through daydream, or actual sleep. So it's, it's that side of the consciousness that is coming through daydreaming. Look, Seven of Pentacles. A lot of daydreaming, a lot of envisioning, a lot of visualization, maybe even yearning, watching. Someone here is on the outside looking into something. And I don't know what the something is, but they're on the outside looking in the Tower and the Eight of Pentacles. So there is this watching and not doing anything and then the tower hits sudden unexpected divine intervention and then there's work to be done so there could be a distraction someone's distracted and not doing what they're supposed to be doing or distracted deer in headlights and then boom and then all of a sudden they get back to it um it feels like deer in headlights it could be the moment you see someone you see something could be the ending of something. And so there's this like nostalgic staring and longing and missing or whatever. I don't know how that works. But when the tower hits, it is very, very like a cracking of the whip or it's like a sudden loud noise or it's like the alarm goes off and now we wake up, you know, from a dream state. You see what I'm saying? You have the sun, happiest card in the whole deck and the knight of swords. Happiness comes very suddenly. It arrives quickly. The Leo energy coming from the sun also, but the sun is pure bliss. It's pure joy. It's pure happiness. The sun is growth. It's success. The hanged man. Change in perspective. But I feel like someone wakes up. There's a waking up from something. There's and it could be like the dream state, right? This could also be very symbolic of someone awakening. Actually awakening, right? Because this is change of perspective. The sun is also enlightenment and awakening. So someone here could definitely be awakening to a pentacles, finding balance. We just had the the fall equinox, right? That's all about balance. This is technically fall. autumn season of letting the dead leaves fall away eight of swords overthinking mental entrapment not seeing something possibly because it's blindfolded you're not being able to see 
your true happiness. For some of you, there's been a lot of like shit that's gone on, right? A lot of maybe pain and heartbreak. And so it makes it really difficult to be able to see, to have hope for the future, but it's there. It's definitely there. This energy here feels like it is, it's calling in, I gotta tell you, it feels unconscious. It feels like it's the subconscious mind, so it's not you consciously doing it. It's calling in what, what, what belongs to you, the Hierophant, Taurus, marriage, union. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Air. Queen of Swords cuts things out of out of the way out, the releases. Queen of Swords, though, is also air. So this could be heavy air. Someone who's a little impatient. Someone who's a bit sassy. Queen of Cups. And then someone who's in their feelings. Feeling, feeling something, feeling memories. It's nostalgia. It's remembering. It's something about remembering. It's like the wake up happens, the wake up call, or the or the actual awakening and enlightenment, or waking up from a dream. Doesn't it look like this Queen of Swords is calling something forward because her hand is up? It's almost like she's addressing it and she's calling it forward, and I feel like that's really important. Ooh, three of Cups, Reunion, Celebration, and Luck. Reunion, Luck. Reunion, Four of Wands, Marriage, Union, New Beginnings with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, don't get me wrong. This King of Pentacles could be any sign, right? But this would be somebody who is solid and stable and somebody who is... Who's got an offer? Is it an offer of marriage or commitment? Yeah. Now, if you guys haven't met this person yet, right? So it's not here yet. This can also be an offer of job. This could be like a like a money, right? So it could be a work situation. This King of Pentacles has something to offer you. But it comes... Would be hidden, right? The moon is what you don't see coming. Something about hidden. There's like a hidden factor to this. All right, let's go ahead and get into your extended. If you want to purchase it, click on the link below. It would be in your bonus timeless reading section. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. I will go ahead and dive more into this in your extended. See you guys there. Love you.